A quick disclaimer before we get into it, there's two ways we can test drive cars here at Montu Motors. One is to treat it like a princess, show how pretty it is and drive it like it's a baby. Or two, be realistic. These are 25 year old sports cars. It's likely the previous owner drove it like it was a sports car and it's not going to kill it for us to floor it. Maybe the car is starting to sputter once it hits 5000 RPM at wide open throttle. Or maybe the clutch starts to slip when you go wide open throttle in first gear. Or maybe you take a hard turn and it shows the tires rubbing or you have blown shocks. We're not here beating on the car just to beat on it. We're actually test driving the car and showing you how you can drive it if this becomes your daily driver. I'm Jeremy from Matsu Motors and this is a Toyota Celica. All right, so it's time to take this thing for a test drive. Uh, this is a 1994 ST205 Celica GT4. Comes with the same motor as the MR2 Turbo. It's a 3S GTE motor. Comes with 255 horsepower from the factory, and this thing is completely stock, so it should have about that. Uh, I'll do a wide open throttle here. Nice and healthy, holds boost up to red line, and very smooth, no sputtering. Just feels like a stock car. It's quick, it's not fast. Here's a turn. We'll take it a little quick, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Handles it like a champ. I was driving this thing a little bit ago uh, in, the, in the rain and something I noted is just because it's all-wheel drive, you didn't have to change your driving style. You could just drive how you normally drive because it's all-wheel drive. Uh, it, this would make for a great daily driver. It's really comfortable. Feels like a new car, honestly. The bushings feel solid. The steering feels good. Engine feels good. It's got 169,000 kilometers, but it sure doesn't feel like that. It feels like it's a brand new car. I don't really feel comfortable driving this car the way I feel this car could be driven, mostly because this is a rally car and it's very clean, it's really nice, and if I was going to drive this the way that I would like to drive it, I would drive it on dirt roads and just beat the crap out of it, and it's just too nice for me to, to do that. If this is how it feels, at 169,000 kilometers. I feel like this thing could do 10 times that. This thing feels like a brand new car. It feels really balanced. I mean, this car has a ton of potential. If you just want to daily drive it, have a comfortable daily driver, it would make a great car for that. If you want to make this thing a beast on dirt, it would make a good car for that. Uh, even the 3S GTE motor, uh, people have gotten a lot of power out of that. So if you wanted to make it into a drag car, it would be good at that. It's a very versatile car being all-wheel drive. And having a motor that's already been here in the U.S. There's actually the same motor in the Toyota Camry as well, the four-cylinder Camry. It's got a lot of nice features, like it's got a, a sunroof, it works, everything works. I'm riding around with the windows down here in Florida. It's actually got some of the coldest AC of any car we've imported so far. And we've imported over 300 cars from Japan. You may be asking why uh, it doesn't have a CD player, and that's because in Japan they use uh, different frequencies. So even if you add a JDM CD player, most people change them because they operate on different frequencies. So having no radio is no big deal. Basically every car has no radio, even if it has a radio because you're going to be replacing it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the quick test drive of the Celica GT4. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a lot of other JDM cars. We've got an S14 Silvia, we've got a Subaru SDI, a lot of Skyline GTRs. Uh, we can pretty much import anything you want as long as it's 25 years old. But anyway, here's the outside of the Celica. Here you can see it's got a really aggressive front end, uh, tons of lights. I mean, this thing's a rally car. It's meant for lighting the way when you're driving at night through the woods. Uh, you've got to keep an eye out for all the deer. I like the hood scoops. Uh, there's a lot of air that gets into the engine bay. Here's an outside look of the moonroof. Uh, look at this paint. I mean, for a 25-year-old car, this thing sure has a lot of shine. 
And it's got a retro factory wheels. So it gives it a cool 90s look. And there's the GT4 wing. It's a giant wing, and that's the, actually the factory wing. Uh, I like that a lot. And also the wing that's at the top of the rear windshield, there's another wing there. So it's sort of like a two-toned wing effect. These are a lot of features that people in the U.S. that have Celicas would be extremely jealous of if you had. But anyway, that's the outside look. Now it's time for the interior. Look at that interior. How does this car have 160,000 kilometers on it? It must have been sitting on a dyno with a brick and the gas pedal, or maybe the owner wore a poncho all the time. Who knows? Uh, but here you can see a boost gauge, which is pretty fun to look at while you're driving. Get the focus on it. It's got a nice aftermarket steering wheel. It's got the toll pass. Most cars have that from Japan. No radio, but again, uh, you're going to have to order radio anyway, regardless if it had one. The doors look pretty cool. And there's the wing. Look at that nice headrest. It looks comfy. Whoa! Sorry about that. Somebody must have been playing a prank. Uh, but anyway, it's got power windows. Uh, it's pretty standard in most cars. I don't know why we're taking a video of it, but we are. And now the engine. Or should I say front bumper? So here's the front bumper, a bunch of lights. And here's the engine. It's a 3S GTE, like we talked about earlier. Uh, but one cool feature is how the turbo is just front and center. That's pretty cool. Also, this doesn't have a front manu cooler. It cools the air with coolant, and that's what that box is. Well, anyway, here's a high-level view of the engine. There's a ton of awesome features. You can read about it on Wikipedia or on our website. We could easily create an entire video just talking about the unique features of this car, but this is just a test drive. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about this Celica, then go to our website, montumotors.com. And if you like this video, then hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. The way to get a hold of us is to shoot us an email or give us a phone call. If you call us during operating hours, we usually answer the phone, but if we don't, leave us a message and we'll get back. Uh, otherwise, emails, we're very active on emails even after hours, uh, so feel free to shoot us an email. Again, I'd like to just reiterate, we're making these videos based on the requests from you. Uh, so if you have more requests, post them in the comments and let us know what you want to see. Uh, because if you don't send any more requests, then we're not going to have content that we're going to be creating for you. So if you want to see more test drives of other cars, let us know that you want to see more. If you want to see test drives of specific cars, then post the car that you want to see a test drive of and we'll work on getting a video created for you. I'm Jeremy from Monty Motors, and this is a Nissan Celica. <laughs> <laughs> Nissan Celica. What is it, a Nissan celery stick? What are you saying over there? <laughs>